now we are on to question number six this is also based on isometric projection you, you basically need to make an isometric view and here is the problem the moment you look at this orthographic projection you are bound to get confused there are so many lines in fact uh, whosoever has made this question paper has certainly failed to recognize the difference between an outline or a solid line and a projectile because if you take a look this if you extend this this should be referred to as a projector line okay and then we are rotating it at a 90 degree angle over here this also in fact refers to a projector line but still it has been darkened looks like a solid line it gives us an impression that there is an edge over here so but you don't need to worry i have made all the necessary corrections just take a look the original diagram is this these are the outlines and the edges which are visible in the front top and the right hand side view if you want a much more clearer picture along with all the dimensions this is it okay and uh, this basically is question number six uh, please tension matlo this is question number six okay don't worry uh based on this diagram we are going to be creating our isometric view but first of all we need to understand what the maximum length and width is okay we are going to be creating the top view first in isometric and then gradually we'll be giving all the relevant points their heights here we go uh, just take a look at this first of all let me go to the next slide what is the length sir length is 80 what is the width it is 60 now there are going to be two options option number one you can choose the length over to this side and width over here that means you can choose length as 80 and width as 60 right so the top would be would be something of this sort then there is another option you can select the length over to this side and you can then select the width over to this side this is a much more better option the reason being very simple let me explain this to you length is 80 and width is 60 you see this profile over here you must always make the isometric view in such a way that all the features profiles or elements of the object are clearly visible take a look at this this over here this arrangement if you take 80 over to this side will be here it sort of will be in the back of the drawing okay the way we look at it but if you choose 80 along this this axis this isometric axis in that case this this sort of triangular uh, prism kind of a profile that you have will appear somewhere here so that's the benefit take 80 mm to the left and 60 mm to the right length to the left and width to the right length to the left and width to the right that is the first thing then what you need to do is move parallel here note these isometric lines are going to help you align your mini drafter okay and then connect now <clears throat> what should we do now sir this by the way is 80 okay point in the front view in the top view right at the base there are two points let's say this is one this is two uh, when you look at these two points from the front they appear over here one dash and two dash so i can write this as one and two now these two points will be given a height of 60 millimeters so let me give them some height done okay sir now let's say this point corresponds to again two points in the top let's call these two points as three and four so these two points at the top are three dash and four dash so let me write it down three and four so these two points it looks like a point but uh, there is a line there is an edge so connect done sir now what now you need to come forward in this direction okay how much is it sir it is 20 so this way done and again you can see it looks like a point but in there is in fact a line there is an edge over here so join with the help of an edge done sir now uh, we can clearly see we are right here Okay, let me write this as one, two, 
one, two, one dash, two dash. Let me name these two points. Three, four, three dash, four dash. So that's three, that's four join. Hmm? You should be able to relate all of these things. Okay. <laughs> now I am not going to talk in detail. Uh, this, by the way, is a question for 16 marks and it's it's a very easy problem i am shocked that whosoever has set this question paper has given 16 marks for this problem it does not deserve 16 it does not deserve more than 8 or 10 marks not more okay in fact the 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 first problem on isometry the question number 5 was way tougher right but again you always need to select the easiest option okay good to go now uh, you see this yes sir what is the height sir it is 30 millimeters so 30 millimeters and then you are here here produce a line in this direction in the isometric until it intersects this slant edge until it intersects the slant edge somewhere here we are good to go now let me remove these edges as they won't be visible why because they fall behind a plane or a surface all okay now this is the point that i'm concerned about you need to come forward by a distance of 30 millimeters from here also you need to come forward here 30 millimeters this way and now you can simply join and finish it off your diagram is done okay there will be an edge over here and yes if you uh, darken it this is how it would look and along with this construction this is how it looks right don't erase the construction lines rather override them with the help of solid lines wherever it is necessary okay yes that was the problem in almost seven minutes <laughs> 16 marks in your kt very easy one